Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Better Biomed. This morning, I have something very special, an unusual failure on a surgical table, something I've never seen before. But uh, I figured I'd walk you guys through what I believe is the failure point and why it failed. So let's take a look. So this right here is the inside of my Skytron 6700B Hercules table. Normally the batteries sit over here. This right here is the CPU. It sits over there. And this guy is the rectifier box, which has this guy. Take a look at that. You can see the rectifier normally sits right here and uses this shield as a heat sink. So this guy failed. And when it failed, all the wiring from here all the bundle, which includes a lot of this, all the way up to here was melted. Take a look at this. So there's something to take notice here. The black and white, that's 120 volts AC in. The red and brown right there. These ones are 22 volts AC from the transformer. Notice how the white and the black are just fine. So if the transformer shorted, you would expect to see the white and black line, which comes all the way down here to the power port. You would expect to see that one melted first, but it's almost not melted at all. It's just periphery damage due to the other wires that are in the same bundle. So your 22 volt AC line is the one that shorted. It goes all the way down to this box to your bridge rectifier. I've never seen a bridge fail like this. So what I believe happened is your bridge rectifier, if you guys don't know, it converts AC to DC using four diodes, basically four diodes. And diodes, like many semiconductors, they like to fail in a short, not an open, a short. So if you have bad MOSFETs, bridges, diodes, etc., they like to fail as a dead short and they let the smoke out, like this right here. So what I think happened is your 120 volts was coming in, or check that, your 22 volts AC comes in, it shorted inside this guy, melted all the way back. It started from here, and it melted all the way back to the transformer. Let's take a look at this transformer. Look at this. So notice, these are your primaries, the black and the white. It's not even really discolored, so you can tell that the problem is not on the primary side or on the input side, it's all on the output. If you notice down here, your secondaries, these all seem to be really fine right up until about an inch and a half from the transformer. So that shows you that the short actually came back this way to the transformer and this was probably sinking a lot of the heat away from that's why the wires are still intact. So I haven't done a resistance check on the batteries yet to see if they're a dead short in one of the batteries, which would cause, you know, a massive current leap right here in this semiconductor. But this guy, it's what, 12, 14 years old? And I'm not sure if it's because it had improper heat sinking or if it's because of current draw because of the batteries but it toasted a good share of my wiring all this was bundled up together I mean some of this is damaged let's see yeah you can see I've got damages on a bunch of other wiring so here's the problem I had a short with 22 volts AC which shorted to my 120 volts um, inside this cable and that went throughout the table luckily a patient wasn't involved with this this is just when they were moving the table into the room they plugged it in and that's when it started smoking it was one of those situations where if it was going to happen it was an absolute blessing that it happened when it did so the transformer down there it has to get replaced the company still supports this table luckily 
The transformer is about $600. This rectifying box here, I have no clue how expensive that is. And to do it correctly, we should change out the CPU as well because when you have that much current and AC shorting, the AC probably shorted into the DC circuit. So who's to say what else was damaged? The, um, the pump motor down here could be damaged. The computer is probably damaged because it had AC that leaked into it. Pretty much everything is compromised. A lot of these wires here, I got to physically inspect them one by one for uh, melt damage because a lot of stuff was melted in here. I know I can't really see it, but even some of these controller wirings were leaning up against um, the AC lines. So this, this is going to have to be a whole rebuild. And the problem with Skytron and the problem with this table is that they don't sell existing wiring harnesses, wiring kits. In other words, I just rewired the whole table. Screw it. Let's re redo the whole table right from scratch. They don't sell the wiring kits. They say I have to source the wiring from local and do it piece by piece, like strand it. And the problem with all this is that the connectors, there's a certain load rating on connectors, right? So there's a certain amount of amps and a certain voltage that they're allowed to take in. And you have to get the exact same connector because if you get one that's underrated, you're going to have a melt. I mean, you are dealing with a hydraulic pump and this is a Hercules table. So this guy is, it's, it's a heavy duty table. It's, I don't know, is this rated for a thousand pounds? I think. So I'm going to suggest that this is a uh, total loss. Being a 2006 table. I haven't even priced out the computer or a new rectifying box, but a transformer, I was able to price that out. And as soon as I started seeing uh, melt damage on other wires, I'm like, geez, you would be here for days uh, redoing wiring one piece by one piece, rewiring this whole thing. And you can't just splice a piece in, like cut it off, you know, crimp a new piece in and then run it because this belongs in a cardiovascular operating room you don't just piecemeal in a bunch of wiring and then put it in a cardiovascular room that's not going to happen on my watch so i would say unfortunately these guys got their money worth out of this table time to suggest a replacement all because of this guy a simple little chinese made bridge rectifier so everyone that is my morning I've got to write some emails and properly document this make sure that everybody's aware that I don't suggest that this gets re repaired and I'm gonna contact my supervisors and make sure that they're aware so that they don't get blindsided and I'll get their professional opinion and see what they say Hope you guys have a beautiful Friday and uh, thanks for watching.